Today we're doing an open house for the community to come and uh, see the new fire station that we just opened. Uh, we moved in on Friday, but we wanted to have an open house so that after we got all of our stuff unpacked and put in place. And that's what we're doing today. We're celebrating the opening. Well, for Decatur, I think what it, what it helps out with is our fire coverage to the north end of the city. And uh, moving up here where we did, it gives us a little quicker access to get across the highway and to cover the areas with the city annex to the north and west over the last 40 or 50 years. So I think in conjunction with replacing the building and putting it in a better spot, it's better for the city. I think everybody is ecstatic. You know, we had really outgrown um, our old fire station five. It was not ADA accessible. It was, you know, very cramped. The equipment is bigger than it's ever been. And, you know, that station was just not built for today's firefighters. We have firefighting men and women now. And this um, offers what you need to have if you've got both sexes. You know, we've got more than one bathroom. We've got uh, private sleeping quarters. So it's, it's a quality of life thing for these men and women who live their lives trying to protect us. I mean it includes stuff like modern kitchen, it includes the technology that's uh, prevalent in the new building, uh, it has uh, computer monitors throughout the firehouse that show where the calls are at the city and what's going on, it has uh, uh, two, two restrooms, one you know for male and female, the other fire stations only have one restroom, it has individualized sleeping quarters instead of everybody sleeping in like an army barracks, uh, it has a uh, a uh, workout facility in the basement, it has fire sprinklers, which not all the buildings have fire sprinklers. So it has those kind of things that I think help uh, make it a better building for the firemen to work in and, and uh, spend their career in. I think one of the reasons it's important is because the guys who are working here spend a, you know, a third of their life in this building while they're, while, uh, they're on the uh, fire department. So I think that you would uh, expect that if you're going to live and sleep in, in, in a building that it would accommodate you know, males and females and, and uh, the sleeping conditions and, and the working conditions themselves would be the, the best that they could be. And I think this building tries to uh, accommodate.